man this is it so we really go to the point blank where we're going to talk about what's needed and what's this so the spare parts management system is complete most of the things that are needed for this system is now done now what next is to show you how the things work and where do you need to adjust and where do you need to delete now get started just like maybe what i may stay with previously if you just try to log into the system you definitely can't do anything because the system has a high security and the system talks about the sessions and the sessions expire for instance if you try to go on this system too and try to add in your funny things and try to find out maybe if that thing is that's how the system designed you cannot access anything otherwise it will take to the one on us the error page which will tell you know what i think you're lost and definitely will take you back to the login panel which you will get then get started again afresh otherwise also if you try to go back in our system and try to add in the real username and maybe with the wrong passwords you can't access anything how about for user who happen come in and give the right username and password how does the system behaves definitely if you try to do that you can log in into the system now what next is to show you how the system is designed the complete architecture here in the background the portrait that is actually spare part system on the other way around, if you try to go back this side, this is the admin panel for now because if you try to cross check this what the admin has. The admin can even log out of the system, can add for help if maybe needed by the system admin or blah blah things like that. It can even set what should be under the help. The system can also give you a chance to delete up a given user. Now without wasting time, why don't I just go straight and show you from the first point blank how this is it. We have this panel of the system where we need to have the admin section which takes us to the same, the same panel of the system. We have ad workers or ad users. This is the database which I'm going to portray for you. I'm just going to open up the database and take you straight to ad workers. And you see what's there? Now so far in the workers, we have these two workers. Let's try to add one worker and this is how the system works. This is it for instance. If I click ad worker, we shall have a panel like this. I'm just going to add this worker to be called Emma and then other name i'm going to just call him maybe i think is my good friend and he's from juba so i'm going to do that and the country i'm just going to say sudan so this system is designed for that so i'm just going to say maybe nationality i think is a ugandan because there's no emma who's called from sudan i don't think so but otherwise if you're from sudan please you can change this to the country of your choice by the nationality if possible the address i'm just going to say maybe nowadays is working in juba in juba and then the phone number i don't know how to start with maybe start with the plus something but from just going to give me start if that's the number is using within there agenda you can always go on and try to give the gender of his choice then on the other one you need us to provide the date of birth you can definitely just go on here and just start to put maybe when was he born maybe and that was the month and then the day you provided there very well it was that then there yeah i think it's a grown-up person so it might have been produced born in 19 in 1899 wow that's too worrisome so i'm just going to change that to a real date which is a little bit understandable compared to the years we are in now otherwise after doing all those scenarios what you just need to do now at the moment is to click on add definitely if you try to do everything and everything is successful the system should take you to the panel which should be successful admission or successful adding up a user but there was some kind of thing i was expecting the system to give me from here though it didn't give me that thing out so i'm going to cross check on my system and then try to adjust that for all of us but not on this video on the other way around if you try to click back in here and try to check there you should find the user emma added into our system now look on the other way around we have so far only one person who is a lady and that person is called faith and the other way around we have two people with the gender kind of detail so if you go back on the system back again if you try to come back here on the view users and try to click there definitely we shall have those two users added into our system definitely can also reduce on this so that we can always have what's needed in our system we can also go back in on print and then you try to click on print the system should give us the chance to print all those users you can go further and change this to the format of your which you have if i don't have the printer connected you can also add there otherwise i'm going to leave it as a pdf and just click save which then is going to push me to the desktop and i may just call this one as maybe workers so this is going to be our simple workers remember all our system everything is up to work online and offline so if i just click there definitely we can also view our workers onto our screen so then that's it for now and you can always get all that you need so then that's how the thing looks like so i think it's very good and even here down gives us all those users and here all the privileges and how the users look into the system with their date of birth otherwise that's good for now 
Let me just take you back again on our system and try to show you the one known as the worker statistics. If you click on worker statistics, based on the men, yeah, like I told initially, trust me, we have Emma and Oguti. These are male, expecting those Africans' name. And if you have come back to this side, we have one lady who's a faith, and then definitely that's why the system gives us only one person. So that's it. You can also maximize this part of the system and then try to do all those tasks which you want to do on your system. You don't need to close from here, otherwise, just click here. If you happen to open there successfully, what you need to do is just to click here so that you can close the system. The system is a complete system because it's not a website, and that's how you can see it, it works like a system. Then, on the other way around, you can also view system. Uh, view your system user now for instance we have only one system user in this system and i think you can even see the user details but now but on the other way around you can also add more system user now who's going to be a system user for instance if you go back on a database let me just show some panel from this side around if i try to refresh this part of the system we have only one user and that's the person so in the other way around you can also add another person to become a system user who's a system user this time around it's going to be a person who's going to be helping us whenever we need to add a person in the database a person who can just a customer a person who can be administrator on our system a part we can design a privilege to that given system use now on the other way around our system is very simple we don't just need to add a person who's already a worker to be also a system user but not a must that everyone who's a worker should be a system user it's going to be upon the admin of this system or the manager of this system to privilege anyone needed into the system otherwise what need to do just like i've happened to add here emma i can just go on this side around and i click on add user I click there, a new window will pop up, and I can always maximize it so that I can be in a position to do that. If I don't want, I can always close there from there. Otherwise, let's close, open it, and then you see how we can do that work together. Now, remember on the other one, when you click the other side of Emma, from here, it open up and tracks Emma alone. So this system is very unique and has all of those features needed so that we can always provide and get what's needed in ours. Now on the other way around, I just need to come in here and add the system user's name. Like for instance, on this case of mine, I'm going to put Emma and I can decide the privilege or user type that's needed for Emma to be part of this system. Is it going to be the admin or is it going to be the user type or is it going to be just maybe users? I can also give the password for Emma, but then later on I can give Emma a chance to change his own password if possible even with the username. But don't care about Emma because you can always track up the user details and especially we ca he can never change the ID. So when I click there, I can just provide the password to be maybe one two three and also confirm to be one two three how about if emma give wrong pass you at username the system is very privileged and will definitely say the two passwords do not match and comes back and maintains everything as normal so i just need to come in here and i put emma if like we say and then i come back here i put the password as one two three if needed and i also confirm one two three here if i click there our system is very unique and there definitely i think you can see it has said user added successfully and that's it. That implies in simple time right now, Emma is really added into one known as the system users. When I click there and I close that panel of the system and I just go to view system users again, like you have seen initially, it was one person. Now we have two people. And I think you can see even when you go back to our database this time around and try to click on here and just refresh on our database to find Emma added into our system. So far, Emma is not logged in. That's why you see there is no time any privilege. His user status is just zero. B implies is offline. On the other way around, when you come back in on our system, and I just try to take you back to the panel I've opened right now. If this confuses you, let me take you back here. If I click there now to view system users, uh, or to you analyze system users, and I try to maximize there, I think you can see we so far have this in our system. If you go back here again, we have only two people, and all of them are male. No, that's why you see the list system does not show the lady because don't have any lady who's under system users. I can just close here because I'm done with that part of the section of the system. Our system also has a unique feature on it, like for instance, I can search from here. When I click there, a new button pop up, pop up and I can only search if I want Emma. That's how you can get Emma into the system. How about if I want a system user, maybe who is maybe the name is maybe who is from Juba. I just going to just click a Juba and that's it. When I try to zap Juba, I think you can see the system just take care of that. How about if his name is called Oguti, I can just do that and then definitely the system gives us me all those privileges. For instance, also if I don't want to do that in the system workers and I want to delete Emma from the system. I'll just need to click delete. But my oh, my system is very wise. It does not just delete definitely. It will be given chance to a system user. Do you really want to delete this person? If there, when we can confirm, and then we shall be in position to delete. Otherwise, I don't want to delete M and this system because I've also just added in for now. But on the other way around, let me go back to view system users. 
when I open up this pan of the system, I just need to have all this section done. I can also, I can also go on and I try to uh, view what is inside here, like for instance, this is system users, I can check them, I can print them like you said, things like that. And I can also go back here to view the statistics and that's it. If you click there, you can still get the statistics like I said to you earlier. Now my friend, that's just adding up system users. Let me just also take you back on the other shortly on how you can also definitely add one on us customers. You get? You go back on the other way around of the system and when you click here on the system, you can also add customers. For instance, if you go back on our system, how many customers do we have? I have customers table. I have customers table whereby in the other way around or to have a, uh, to be under the customers table we have only two customers added to the system we can also go back inside here and add a customer maybe us in the other way around our system tracks every person uh, uh, the system user who's working on under that given customer the system tracks up all those scenarios so for instance i have a customer called dennis dennis seguya you know i have friends called seguya he's a very good guy though he's a very technical man okay fine on the other way around maybe where is the phone i don't know but i can just put there maybe kampala kampala if that's the case and then on the other way around i put him a contact if that's the customer definitely like that so when i click on add save customer i think you can see the system is processing up to save up our given customer and after doing that it disappears off if you come back in here on our system users, if you know on under customers, I think you can see Dennis Segway has added this is the phone number, this is the custom, this is the address, this is the ID. Who really happened to add that given customer to our system? I think you can see that and for sure the system take care of that too. On the other way around, if you try to come back in on our system, this side here, and try to go on and, and if you customers, when you click there, you'll definitely find something like that. This is the customer, this and is added by David. I think you can see that looks unique the same person here i just need to remove this off from our system in fact let me do it right now view your view customers if you really cross check and then you take that care of that so just view customers if i happen to go view customers i don't need to do this anymore i don't need to track this from here you get yes it looks funny for me to track from there again i track again it looks funny really so i just need to hide that off because uh, i don't need it i don't need it and i don't think it's important for me now so i just going to move that off for now so in simple term if you try to come back in on our system try to refresh here we don't have the other section on the other side so definitely this now thing looks nice for some extent but then i added by blah 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 it's nice but then i think i need to revise that panel of the system otherwise to make it to look nice so for now that's what i have and try to me if you try to run there you should have something relative to that added by added by so i think that can actually happen to work under one on us uh it can actually work under ascension so i think it's okay for me now with there now the other way around you have to add your system users we also have view system users which takes us there like you have seen we can also close this panel and now the remaining part i'm working on right now at the moment is one must make order so i want now the system user to take order or to make order on the other way around we have make payments so under inventory this is what we have we have add products and view products when add products this art is now going on here so where we shall be in a position to add up a given product into the system and then we shall also be in a position to do one on us to view products and after we're doing that otherwise we need to also make payments so when you click here to make payments it will be tracking up the customer with the products bought and then the payments we expect him is it going to be cash is it going to be check what's going to be like so let's just tune ourselves in the next time as maybe within just the evening the system should be done otherwise i wish you nice time have a blessed weekend thank you guys and please stay home otherwise coronavirus may go with you stay tuned thank you